Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the world of Melardia. So today I would like to announce to you the premiere of my book that's been awaited for many years. So finally, Anna, the Princess of Melardia, is presented from me to you and I hope you enjoy this story. the story of the beginning of Milardia and how the magical universe was created by me. I was driving around the beautiful Alps in the Switzerland um, overlooking Interlaken and one particular night was so beautiful and magical and I remember the lake reflecting the sky and the stars were showing in the waters of the lake in a beautiful crystal valley and I just took my laptop from the handbag that was I was a passenger and I opened it and I started typing. <laughs> in the rocky green valley hidden among the towering and picturesque Swiss Alps was a small town of Interlaken and nestled in the surrounding hills was a striking medieval stone castle. Near this castle, at Werner Strasse No. 22, stood the primary school of St. Theresa. The school's year opening ceremony was taking place in an assembly hall, and proud parents and excited children filled the room to the brim. On the ceremony stage, standing in front of the display of the numerous awards... So this is how it all started, and definitely the biggest inspiration as well for me was my work as a kids animator back in Malta. And I just like felt connection with children and I was telling them stories. They loved it. And when they were going back home, their parents were calling, <laughs> were calling the hotel that a kid is sad because it's been two weeks and they can't forget Princess Anna. And they've been crying and been sad because of the, how much they miss me. And they thought I was a real princess. When, one time a girl asked me like, Anna, are you a real princess? And I said, I looked at her and I, I, deeply in her eyes and I said, no, you are the princess. You just have to choose the planet that you rule. The book is divided into two volumes, part one and two, because uh, volume one was written and dedicated to my mother. And she was taking part in listening to me reading that project, that, that book to her. And then uh, as I was writing chapter 16, which is chapter Milbus, it's about transformation, leaving this body. And it's the chapter where you go to another universe as a soul. So it kind of, it's about death in a sense. And that was the last chapter dedicated to my mom. Um, she passed away in a car accident, tragic one, just three days after I dedicated this chapter to her for her 60th birthday. So there is a message definitely in there, in the universe, throughout this whole story that came to me because it's just unbelievable how accurate I was into my real life when my mom died. It says, Dear Melardia, you ready? Fly and remind yourself who you are. The grief and sadness after losing my mother at 25 years old has taken me around the world on a journey where I kept on writing. And every time I was writing, I felt like I was connecting with her and the universe was just like sending me a message. I was in Rio de Janeiro one night where I've written two or three chapters and this is how they went. The grey storm unleashed 
over the interlaken valley, illuminating it with a silver lighting. The circus performance was just beginning in the tent. The artists were so determined to uphold their standards of Le Belvedere as the best circus in Europe. They did not care to notice the mighty storm and heavy rain ranging down on the tent's canopy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first performance of the circus La Belvedere in Switzerland. The inspiration to create Talmaria um, and a different universes which were both inside the Earth as well as outside in different planets came from, well, I guess my own, <laughs> my own mind and brain, but also from um, beautiful forests. Finally, after all these years, after having completed the text probably already a few years ago, I'm ready to share it with the world because it's such an emotional story for me, especially in regards to my mom that I was kind of hiding it and running away from this project. But now I feel like I'm ready. I feel like after pandemic, we need it. We need some magical world of Milarda to open to us and try to raise our consciousness into believing in yourself, because Milardia is a state of mind, is a happy state of mind. It is outside planet, but it's also in ourselves. We just have to find it. So I am inviting you on a journey to discover Milardia and let your imagination, feelings, emotions go. Enjoy.